Hey friends, today is photo shoot day. So I'm gonna be showing you some awesome dance poses if you wanna go do a dance photo shoot. Now, I brought my buddy Zach. Yeah, <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> He's a dancer. Um, you guys, these poses aren't super complicated and I'll show you how to do them, how to structure them, and Zach will give you some tips on how to shoot them so that you can take really beautiful dance photos too. Should we do this? Absolutely. That was a good high five. Okay guys, so our first position is a crossed fourth with a circle. So choose whichever foot you want. I have my left foot forward, and I'm gonna place my other foot in the back on a releve. My weight is going backwards, my front foot is turned out, and my arms are gonna be holding a circle, and I'm gonna look into the circle. Okay, so what you wanna make sure is that for this position, the circle is open to the photographer, and your outside hip is squared to where he or she is, okay? You don't wanna to turn too much this way, then it's booty, and you don't wanna to turn too much this way, then you lose the prettiness of the cross. Zach, do you wanna tell them how you're shooting this one? So I'm shooting on a long lens, so I'm very far away from Auntie, and I'm shooting in portrait so I can make sure I can capture her entire body. Okay, so our next pose is a passe, that's slightly off center, and some fancy arms. So choose whichever leg you want up. I'm gonna do my right side because I have better balance on my left. It's gonna be a nice high passe, toe to knee. One arm is gonna cut into your ribs and the other is gonna lift. So it has a little bit of a slice. So we're using a mirror this time so I can use Auntie herself as a foreground interest and then the reflection of her doing the pose will actually be our subject. So we get her twice in the same shot and we get a little bit of out of focus elements that look really nice on camera. Okay friends, so we're on to our third position. I did a little costume change so that we can get variety in our pictures. So this one is a tondu with a little bit of a swan arm, yeah? So pick which foot you like. I like my right foot the best. Sorry, left foot. But we're gonna go right foot out. You're gonna arch back slightly so that your hair can just fall in the wind. And you're gonna cross your arms over and look out. You can't look at the camera, but I like a more dramatic pose, okay? So a tondu and a cross. You wanna keep your feet as turned out as possible and your knees as straight as possible, and we'll hold. You look great, Zach. Mm hmm Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Are we good? Yeah. All right, so we have Aussie now standing in a corner next to very bright windows, so it makes her look extremely bright and the highlights are really nice. And I'm on the opposite side of her with this pose, so that way we have some variety in our pictures. Okay, so we're going to do an attitude spin out. This does require a little bit of balance, so make sure that you pick the leg that you have the best balance on. So for me, I like to turn onto my right foot. So you're gonna start with a nice tendu, and you're gonna step up into it, and you're gonna float an attitude in the back. An attitude is a bent leg. You can lift it as high as you want. My skirt has a little bit of a <laughs> moment underneath here. I can't lift my legs up really high. So I'm gonna keep it at a pretty 45 degree attitude. Now, my arms are going to float next to me. So it's kind of like time stands still for a second when you get to take the picture. So the whole thing starts with the tondu, and we float, and then there will be a pretty picture somewhere in there. I have changed lenses to a 50 millimeter lens because Auti's gonna be much more spread out and I wanna get her all there in the frame. But I'm also shooting at a high shutter speed and a high burst that you can hear. So I make sure that we can eliminate all the motion blur and get all of the phases of her yeah. turn. Okay guys, so now we're gonna do some floor poses. Um, this one is like a little bit of a press up with a back arch. So you're gonna put, sit on your booty, put both feet down, pick whichever arm you feel the most stable on. The other hand is gonna cross over to grab that arm's shoulder, okay? Push up with through your palms and through your feet. Lift up to your releve and you're gonna hold. In this one, you wanna make sure you're pressing as high as you can over those arches so it's not a low position and don't, um, don't tense up your neck because you'll have this really, what is this thing called? It's like this really intense muscle that comes out of your neck and it's scary looking. So relax your face even though you're holding all of your body weight up. Um, but this one's super pretty in pictures. So now I'm on the ground because I want my camera lens to be below Auntie when she lifts herself up in the pose and that way it makes her look like she's really high off the ground. Alright guys, so I don't even know what number we're on, <laughs> but it's all a blur. 
Um, this is a front attitude with a bend. So I'm gonna pick my right foot up and I'm gonna bend it in. You wanna make sure your knee is above your ankle. You're gonna plie your bottom foot, bring one arm into your chest and the other arm high and you're gonna look out. So it's an extension. Ooh, with the balance, yeah? And hold. And that's your position. It's a little bit of a thigh burner, but we're dancers. For these poses, uh, me and Auntie have been talking a lot about what, what the pictures actually look like and what she's gonna be doing. And then we work together to decide where she's gonna be standing throughout the room to make sure that um, the pose looks the best and we can get good pictures out of it. So it's really important to be able to communicate with each other and understand what you both want. Okay friends, this is my favorite pose because you get to lay down. <laughs> so you're just on your back, you have one leg straight and the other one is going to extend on top. You can turn it out, I like to keep it parallel. Show off your beautiful point, extend one arm out and one arm up. You could even arch your back a tiny bit, but that's pretty much the extent of it. The extension of it. <laughs> so we're back on the ground again. Um, but for pictures like this, it is helpful to be able to direct the dancer a little bit because it's very hard for her to tell what she actually looks like on camera. So I can tell her to move her hand up and down or look towards the camera slightly, arch her back. From here, because I can see so much more, I have to be able to tell her just little things that can help her hold the pose more accurately for a better picture. Alright guys, so for this one, Zach's focusing on just my upper body. So it's a lot about the emotion in the face. So don't stress if you don't have really, really advanced technique. Your artistry and your expression through your face can be just as gorgeous as a technical pose. So for this one, I'm just reaching out and extending, but I have a little bit of emotion in my eyes. My feet are doing a step and a cross, but that's not even going to be in the photo. So I'm just reaching out and I have a lifted face and a lifted neck so that the picture has a little bit of breath in it. So for this picture, I'm having Auntie actually reach directly towards the camera and to have her chin pointed right at me. She doesn't have to look at the camera all the time because we just want to get a mix of different pictures we can select from, um, but this causes her hand to be a lot closer to the camera and it can cause some nice out of focus elements on a long lens like this. Um, but this makes for a very nice like dancer's portrait in the middle of their element. Alright, so now we're going to do a soda shot or your leap. Now, I know you see a ton of pictures of dancers doing these leaps and they look so high off the floor, but that's usually a camera trick which Zach will share with you. Um, so don't stress if you don't have a really high leap. What I'm going to show you is a chasse step leap. So I go step together, take one more step, and then I'm going to jump onto that front foot. My arms are going to extend out and my front leg and back leg are super straight. So chasse, step, leap. Now the camera angle is what's gonna make you look really high and powerful and beautiful, but just the technique side is chasse, step, leap. <laughs> Obviously better than that, but. All right, so what you're seeing now is what a 15 millimeter lens looks like on a full frame camera. So this lens is extremely wide and I'm using it to emphasize the motion in the Aussie's jump and also to make it look like she's super high off the ground. So now we're gonna switch back to what you would regularly be seeing. So now we're back to the 35 millimeter so you can get an idea of how wide this actually is. You've seen us take a lot of really cool pictures and but you may have noticed that we're using very expensive cameras. But I have a very expensive camera because it's my job and I do this every day for a living. So I'm gonna show you that you can still get great pictures with just anything that you have. So we'll be taking our last picture with a phone. Okay friends, we're on to our very last pose. So for this one, we're gonna go the more artistic route. You're just gonna kinda cradle something, like you're holding the baby. Um, I like to have my palms up, and my legs are in kind of a parallel squat. So I have my one leg bent, and the other one will bend as well, but it's a little farther from my body. So I'm holding this here. Now to make it a little bit fancier, push out your collarbone, and it exaggerates the line. So because we're working on a phone, we have to do a little bit of work to get good pictures, but it's still very possible. So on an iPhone, we're just going to switch to portrait mode in the camera, and we have Auti against just a blank wall because we can't get that same shallow depth of field as we can with a big camera. Um, so we're going to start here. Hit the pose. Okay. Get a little closer. Can you take a step to your right just yes. a little bit? Okay. 
Got it? Yes, you got it. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. A huge thank you to Zach for coming on to this vlog to show us just how you can shoot dance with an awesome camera and just your iPhone camera. Um, check him out on Instagram and on my dance company's page. He takes a ton of our photos and they're absolutely stunning. So don't forget, we have a new dance vlog every single Wednesday and a new choreography video the last Friday of each month. You guys, if you take pictures that me and Zach took today, please post them on Instagram and tag us. I'll be reposting some of my favorites onto my story. So I'm really excited to see what you guys create. And I love you guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>